Hey everybody, um, so this is a set of um, 799 um, cathedral port heads. I already pretty much got the throat to 88%. Uh, I'm going to take it to 89%, but it, this way you can see that I've done some work to the throat, but you should be able to see that the port intake is still close to stock you see the rocker stud in the back uh, um, I want to slowly but surely try to give everybody an idea of what I do to get these heads to um, be even better than stock so I opened up the throat so one of the things that you could do let's say all you're going to do is just get rid of the rocker stud. So it's over there. Let me focus. There you go. It's over there in the back. You could do something like that. I don't know. You make it look better. And maybe you could also maybe do something to the valve guy boss. You could leave the rocker. I um, mean, you could leave the swirl ramp or you could get rid of it. But let's say that you don't even do anything to the throat. You could at least go in there with <clears throat> with um, a sanding disc or what do they call it? What does one guy call it? A Tootsie Roll? I don't know what they're called. And you go in there and you'll um, just sand things up. So I'll do this for a little bit, turn it off, and I'll show you the finished product. Do this for a little bit, uh, and then I'll show you the finished product. and you just sand it and I don't know you get it smooth and you get rid of the stock texture that you have in the 799 uh, intake ports and the exhaust too right you should be able to see that there it makes quite a bit of difference that's all I can get with my Black & Decker uh, even that will you know get you some extra power so that's one of the things that you could do to help you go on your way. So remove the rocker stud bump and then take a sanding disc and then get the first inch if you can two inch go all the way to the valve guide and sand send that rough texture away. Right? Get rid of that. That's one thing you can do to help make your heads better.